Hello, I'm Jimmy from Mouse Hat Games, and this week I've been working on Logic World settings menu. So we've got a bunch of tabs, we've got a bunch of settings within the tabs. They all work, and I can set my game resolution, or my uh, full screen mode. There are also settings which are hidden or shown depending on the state of other settings. Like if I disable VSync, we can now see the option for max FPS, which doesn't have an effect when VSync is enabled. Or if we disable shadows, we, then all of the settings related to rendering shadows are hidden. But the really cool thing about this menu is how it is generated. None of this user interface is pre-designed. All of it is dynamically generated when the game starts up. I'm going to pop over to my development tools to show you just how sweet this system is. So I have some code here, a property called vsync mode. The property contains simple logic for getting and setting the value of the vsync mode. To turn this property into a setting, all I have to do is add this tag up here, setting dropdown enum and the settings text identifier mhg.graphics.vsync. That's it. That's all I need to do, and the user interface is automatically generated for me. That user interface is given logic for modifying the property, saving the value to the settings file, and then loading the value later when the game restarts. If we go into the game data files, we can also give this setting some metadata. In settingsdata.suck, we, uh, we set the page and heading for the setting to appear on. Notice we're using the same text ID we assigned in the code mhg.graphics.vsync. Uh, we can also go into the localization files and give this setting a translation into all of our languages, just English for now, but that's changing soon. This system makes it incredibly easy for us and for modders to add settings. Now that it's set up, I am pumped to go through the game and just add a buttload of settings so you can tweak everything about the game to just the way you like it.